Hello people, I thought I'd make a video, have my say on a few things that have been happening recently. I've not made much because I've been ill as fuck and I've been busy as well, last week I was fucking dying. But I've been watching the shit that's been going off on YouTube, like I say I thought I'd come and have my say. I've been noticing there's been a few people talking shit again about offering each other out of the fights and have we really got back to that fucking stage on YouTube where people are calling each other out? I mean, don't get me wrong, I know that like... It's always been a thing, but it kind of died down now. I'm seeing more and more of it again, you know what I mean? This is the thing, yeah? There's probably a handful of hard guys on YouTube. I'm not included in that because I haven't had the right to, for people to say that about me. I haven't shown people what I'm about. I can look after myself. I'm about the fucking streets. And that's all I can say. You know, most of these people on here just chat shit because YouTube gives people opportunity to come on and be whatever they want to be. Say whatever they want to say be fantasists we know there's a lot of them on youtube you know what i mean and to be fair a lot of people don't bat an eyelid to it so then that gives them the opportunity to come on and say more shit the guys with the real rep the real hard cunts not on youtube you're probably lucky to find them on facebook you know they've earned the respect in the streets they need to from the people they don't need to come online and create false fucking profiles narratives whatever you want to say to seem hard to be fair there's only really one fight I'm interested in even seeing it to YouTube as if that. And that's Motorsports Buggies and Paul Ellis. You know, Paul Ellis spoke about being about that shit and, you know, he's got to recoup himself. He sat in a house being a little bitch. Ain't, you know what I mean? Ain't about that life. You know, the fact of the matter is, if he, in my book, if he wants to recoup himself, best thing to do is, you know, fight it out with Motorsports. Now, I'm not saying, you know, bang it out in the streets. You know, I want Danny Christie gonna fucking be fair play man or some shit. That's what I heard anyway. But you know, in a ring somewhere with some fucking gloves on, I won't mind seeing motorsports buggies fight. And I'm sure there's a few people on here who want to see him move. Listen, they might be old men, but they can still fucking walk around and you know run the mouth and shit like that. So why can't they stand in the ring and punch each other for a fucking few minutes? Do you know what I mean? It's only jabbing each other up, man. Jesus, the two old men anyway. But like I say, it's a bit of beef and it's a bit of banter at the same time, isn't it? A bit of entertainment. And I'm sure, you know, I'd like to think that motorsports would be game for that. You can't, I can't really see Paul Ellis being, a, you know, wanting to even fucking... But if he's about that shit, he'd do it, innit? He's, you know, settle the fucking, the beef between them both. But enough said on that shit anyway. I wanted to talk a little bit about the fucking Decker and Dave situation. Now, YouTube's become ridiculous at the minute. Because it seems to all be about Decker fucking Eggy. Everybody's channel, every dog, man, dog channel, whatever is doing shit on Decker Heggy. At this present moment, it might as well be called fucking Decker Heggy Tube. There's that many people doing shit on him. The way I see it is if you want someone to be irrelevant, best thing to do is not talk about him. Do you know what I mean? And it seems that all these people want him to be irrelevant, but yet they can't shut up about him. They're fucking obsessed with him. It's madness. But like I say, it begs the question about a lot of these other people. Like people like Dickhead Dave, you know what I mean? Or oh, we'll call him Detective Dave, shall we say. Because seem, people seem to think that the man's a fucking case, busting cases wide open. And I don't see that shit at all. It were Decker Heggy, his best he fucking mate at first, till he had a lover's tiff and fell out with one another. Do you know what I'm saying? I think, well, if they're not falling out with one another, they'd still be fucking busy mates, wouldn't they? It's madness. But it's, you know, it's like this on YouTube. There's a lot of trend that goes around. It's like... People don't give a fuck about what other individuals have done, as long as they're basically against the same cause as them. See, for me, it's like this. I, you know, I, if I don't like someone, right, then I don't like them. Simple as that. That's my perspective. I don't need somebody else to come along and support that. You know what I mean? If you're a wrong un, you may as well go and stand with him. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you ain't saying fucking boat as him. I don't want you fucking supporting me, mate. Supporting that fucking cause. Do you know what I'm saying? It's madness. People just just accept others as long as they're doing the same thing as what they are, no matter what their past is. You know, and it makes me laugh as well, the fact that people are paying Detective Dave. At this rate, they must be shoveling it in his fucking bank account now, eh? We him going round to fucking dickhead deckers. The fact of the matter is, they're both as bad as each other. Decker shouldn't even be offering people to come round to his parents' house. If he had enough respect for his parents, he wouldn't be doing that. He wouldn't want to put that sort of stress, undue stress on his parents, would he? As a so-called fighting man like he says he is. I mean, I know some guys who are fighting men. 
and you mention fight to them, and they're like a fucking pit bull made. Like, ah! Do you know what I mean? They want it. But I don't see that from him. If he were a fighting man, he'd be out there defending his shit, not asking people to come to the fucking door where his parents live. Like I say, causing fucking stress. And Detective Dave, he's no fucking better, really, is it? I mean, if he had any respect, he wouldn't be turning up to the fucking yard. I mean, what's he doing anyway? Over that he knows what he's doing. I mean, the fact of the matter is he will play this out till the end because he knows that people are paying him. This is probably the bit fucking easiest bit of cash that fat bastard's ever earned in his life, mate. People must be chucking at him like some fucking stripper. You know what I mean? It's embarrassing. So no one should be going round to old age pensioners' houses, right? And no one should be offering, you know, to, to go around. Let's say a certain individual called to send fighting men, they'd be out of that door and, you know, going and fucking sorting these geezers out, whatever. You know, what happened to fighting trolls days? You know, I know I, I beat him down a bit about the begging, but he was begging. A lot of people said the same. But I can tell you something, at least he did some decent fucking lies every now and then. And there were some, you know, relatively interesting people that came out of that shit. Most of the lies these days are just full of fucking drunken, drugged up dickheads who can't even string a sentence together correctly. Who just want to rip the next man from the next man. It's embarrassing. It's not even entertainment. Do you know what I mean? But listen, like I say at the minute... All I see is deck of this and deck of that. Fighting trolls, we need you just to come back, mate. Just do a couple of lies, bring a little bit, you know, a, a little... I'd say normality, but it's not even fucking normal. It literally, it's died, this genre. It's died. People have become obsessed with deck of Heggy and they're killing this fucking corner of YouTube, mate. There's nothing left of it at this rate. But yeah, I thought I'd have a little say. I've got a lot to talk about, but you know what I mean? It's like, I can't sit there and like be putting content out when I thought you know it, I know this corner of YouTube were about myself were about giving opinions and stuff but I don't want to give my shit on a, a deck egg man I'm fucking bored of that bollocks every man and his dog's doing it people need to change the fucking subject man start pointing a finger at other people all these other ones who are fucking sat there like they haven't done fuck all wrong do you know what I mean yeah listen deckers are wrong and so are many others as well but they all get a fucking pass I said this before do you know, and trust me, I'm not fucking defending Decker. Trust me. Listen, you have to do certain things in life, right, to show that you're a reformed character. I'll give you an example. Now, a lot of people beat Danny Christie down, right, because of what he did to his mother. Trust me, I would trek like fucking bollocks when I were a young and make proper. And I'm lucky to be alive, like I say. There's one thing I never did was lay a hand on my mum. Do you know what I'm saying? As much of the shit that I fucking went through... And I still want now, mate. As much as I don't like the woman, you know what I'm saying? I won't fucking lay a hand on her. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I've got more respect than that at the end of the day. But, obviously, people have different aspects in mind. But listen, the moral of the story of this is, is he's trying to better himself. He's not on here trying to make others look bad. I mean, he's, you know, he's, he's out there fighting, like, properly, you know what I mean? Wanting to build something for himself and showing the people that he's a changed, reformed fucking character. Do you know what I'm saying? Not like majority of these other people out here who just use other people who are wrong as themselves. Do you know what I'm saying? To better their own life, you have to do certain things in life to show that you've a changed, reformed character. And when I look at people like Danny Christie, I say that, yeah, he's getting there and he is changing his life and he is reformed character. You know what I'm saying? But it, it is what it is, isn't it? I'm not going to go on anymore about that. You know... You know, I'm I'm in this shit for myself and just to give my own opinion. You know, I don't lick nobody's ass on here, and I'm not up at anybody's hooter. I don't really speak to anybody. I don't speak to no one on here, to be fair, nobody, because this is fantasy land. Like I say, for me, the real world is out here. You know, with my real friends and the real people around me, not people that I've never met before in my life, not people that I can't trust. Cause trust me, like I say, most of these people on here have spent a lifetime. You know what I mean? Perfecting the art of being a snake. And there's a fucking shit ton of them on here, believe me now. You know, I'm not as easily fooled. That's all I can say. Cheers for listening, people. Peace.